Did you know that there are three cars in ERC that only the developers have access to? If you didn't, I'm going to be talking about them in this video and even showing you what they look like. If you do enjoy, drop a like and subscribe, but let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first one I'm going to talk about is one that I think many people know about, but don't really talk about anymore. So it's actually convenient that I'm recording this video on Halloween. I mean, today is literally the 31st of October, the day of Halloween. And this car is something from a good couple of years ago now so there is actually a Ghostbusters vehicle inside of ERLC now this came out um, for Halloween it was like a limited time vehicle for Halloween only it was kind of like part of the Halloween event that they've had over the last couple of years but this year it's not actually in the game and I did see loads of people asking why this was and to be honest I don't know why it is I mean last year they added it in the game and you had to buy it and if you didn't manage to buy it then it just disappeared anyway out of the game after the Halloween event was over but if you did actually buy this Ghostbusters car with like candy that you had to collect from like trick-or-treating at houses then after the Halloween event even though it got removed from the game you would get the Ford Bronco for free which I actually think is a pretty cool feature but I do see why they probably didn't do this again and that's because it's quite expensive to for the developers to actually make a, a vehicle for ERLC and then if they're gonna remove it after just like a couple of weeks when Halloween's over there's probably not really much point because I mean well, it's just a waste of money isn't it really for like a week or two in the game and then it disappears again and no one's ever going to see it so i understand why they haven't done it again with a different car but i am going to show you what this car looks like okay so here we are on one of ruffles's video now this was from three years ago and this is where it was actually giving you a guide on how to get this Ghostbusters car I can't lie I do not remember it being this long ago but anyway as we can see if we skip to about this part in the video we can see it is just here the Ectomobile and you can see it's actually a very very detailed it looks very very nice to be fair and if we go to the point where he actually buys it you can see to get it you have to kind of go trick-or-treating here and then as you can see he buys it here and then he comes to civilian spawn and he spawns it in look how cool this vehicle is it's actually very very detailed Detailed. It's got loads of stuff on the top and it's a shame this was removed. I mean, I understand why it was removed. It wouldn't really make sense to keep a Ghostbusters vehicle inside of ERLC literally 24-7. I guess it doesn't really match the vibe of the game. So yeah, that was the first car. Now the developers, I assume, will still have access to this because obviously it's a car that they that was made for ERLC so the developers will still have it. So yeah, pretty cool. Although no one has been seen driving around in it for a while. However, this next car I'm going to talk about is one that people see the developers driving around all of the time so this all started a while ago as you can see by the screenshot on screen now when the summer update I can't remember what year it was when the summer update was uh, kind of being leaked and announced if you look closely at this screenshot you can see this car just here now this is a Ferrari loads of people thought this was a leak loads of people were like oh my goodness we're gonna get a Ferrari in the next update or whatever car this might be I apologize if you can hear my dog in the background and everyone was really really excited anyway the update came and we got no Ferrari no no cars even looking similar to that were added to the game so everyone just kind of forgot about it but then it came about that the developers had this car and then obviously as time went on we all kind of realized that this was a developer only car however people have seen it the developers play in public servers play in private servers come on live streams for youtubers and they spawn this car in and drive it around I think it is also moderators that have this car as well um, but yeah it's pretty cool so again I'm going to show you a video of what this car looks like. It is very, very awesome, if I do say so myself. I think it would be really nice to get a Ferrari in this game. I think it's the Ferrari F8, it's called. But let's have a look at this video on YouTube. Okay, so as we can see, this is a video on OMB Clips from about a year ago. Uh, literally only just over a year. So, yeah, we can see this car's been in the game for quite a while. But it's this car right here. If I play this, you can see this is not, like, edited or anything. This is actually a Ferrari. It's even got the Ferrari. Ferrari logo is not very often that and in fact no car in ERC actually has the logo for the car but this this one does and then OMB went and raced it and yeah it is very very fast if we have a look at this race here as they go you can see it is very fast he is in the Bugatti OMB is and he is so ridiculously fast it is the fastest car in the game to my knowledge it is faster than the Bugatti but obviously you can't purchase it because it is like a moderator slash developer only vehicle 
yeah, I think that looks really, really awesome. I actually do think it is a very, very cool looking vehicle. And it is a shame we don't get this like publicly. Maybe in the future we will, or maybe we'll just get some kind of Ferrari in the future. I think that would be really cool to be fair. But I mean, I also think it is pretty cool and quite unique and also nice for the moderators and developers to have their own vehicle. I know in some games they do have like developer only items, which is, is pretty cool for the developers and the moderators and stuff. So yeah, but then again, I think they should add some kind of Ferrari. Do you think they should add a Ferrari to ERC? Let me know in the comments below. I think they should because a Ferrari is a car that we don't actually have. We've had McLarens, we did have Lamborghinis until all of that drama happened and they had to delete them all from every, every Roblox game pretty much. However, that does lead me on to my next point and of course we've got Bugattis, McLarens, everything like I've just said. So yeah, anyway, on to my next point, the Lamborghini. I'm sure everyone remembers, not too long ago, we had the Lamborghini at Ventador. I mean, even before that, we had a very old Lamborghini. I can't remember what it was called, but it was a very, very old looking Lamborghini. I'll put a screenshot on screen now. And his name is John C. <laughs> I remember recording videos in this right when I was starting YouTube, it was very, very cool. And then obviously this got updated with the Lamborghini Adventador, uh, which I'm sure we all know. And just a few months ago, or I can't actually remember how long ago it was, I think it was quite a while ago now actually, that Lamborghini was removed because Lamborghini wanted all of their vehicles removed from every Roblox game. So the Lamborghini was removed, however, it was only removed for us. Of course, Lamborghini aren't that close to Roblox, like it's a massive company, they don't really care that much they don't know what the developers have and don't have but the developers do still have access to this lamborghini i mean i think pretty much every car that gets removed from erlc still gets it can be used by the developers i mean maybe I'm, I'm not sure how it works but i think they can be um but yes there have been many clips on different live streams and people have said that they've seen i've seen loads of people kind of sending me clips just playing erlc and they've seen a moderator or a developer driving around in the old Lamborghini quite recently so it, it has been removed from the game publicly but like I said Lamborghini aren't actually gonna know if the developers or moderators have access to it I mean they can't prove it right like they're not gonna they're not gonna see a moderator in game the chance of that is very very low so I mean yeah it makes sense it makes sense they've removed an epic car from the game but at least the developers and moderators can still drive it around now do you think they should add all of these cars back do you think obviously the Lamborghini we can't really get added back but do you think they should add the Ferrari to the public do you think they should add the Ghostbusters car to the public for us all to drive and there's probably even more cars in the game that we don't know about that you know the developers have access to so let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below that is the end of this video if you did enjoy make sure you drop a like and also subscribe check out everything else from the description if you do not know i have been on holiday for like pretty much the whole of october but i am back now so videos are back expect amazing videos coming in the future i've got some very very big ones planned so stay tuned for that like subscribe if you enjoyed as i said hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye